Hello, Lavinia. What are you doing, dear? The room looks a mess. Last time at Sunday school, my teacher told us they're collecting clothes for people in need. I thought I might find some clothes here to give, like the ones that don't fit anymore. Well done, Lavinia. You have grown to be a kind girl. Yes, we should help those in need. Let me help you find something suitable. Now, let me tell you a story about a wonderful saint who loved helping others more than anything. Yes, please, Dad. Who is he? His name is Saint Anba Abram. People called him Friend of the Poor. Anba Abram was born in Egypt and his original name was Paul. His parents were good Christians. His mother passed away when he was young and he became a deacon at the church. My father, I've been a deacon since I was 15 years old. I'm now 19 and I want to go to the monastery to spend my life with Jesus. You are a blessed young man. You have made the right choice. Go to the monastery and enjoy life with Jesus. Paul went to the monastery. There he was ordained as a monk and there his name was changed to Abram. What happened next, Dad? After some years, Abram became head of the monastery. However, his main aim was to always help the poor and those who are in need. Oh, that's so kind and generous. Yes, he helped people in need by giving them clothes, food and any other necessities. He always had in his mind the words of Jesus. Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. And that's why he believed that serving others was like serving God himself. After 10 years, Anba Abram became the bishop of a city called El Fayum. People liked and respected him, but he stayed very humble. Anba Abram lived simply. He loved helping the poor. But let me tell you some more about this man and his kind heart. One time on the day of resurrection, he saw two tables set for a feast. Why are there two tables here? One with lots of food and the other with barely anything on it. Well, Father, the fancy food is for you and the other one is for everyone else because you're the bishop. No, my dear son, let's change that. Make all the food the same and call the poor people outside so we can all celebrate Easter together. Wow, that's really kind of him. He was so generous to the poor. Another time, some very rich people came to him with a lot of money. Good day, Anba Abram. We came to give you this money to fix your old building because it's in bad shape. Thank you, my dear children. I'll use your money to build a beautiful home. Anba Abram gave all the money to the poor, but later the rich people came back and saw that the building was still the same. Father, why didn't you build a new building as you said? I did, but I built a special place in heaven. I don't need a fancy building, especially when there are people here who are in need of food and clothes. We're sorry, Anba Abram. We'll follow your example and help those in need too. Mum, I love Anba Abram so much. I want to help the poor like he did. That's wonderful, Lavinia. But before we do, let me tell you another story about some people who tried to take advantage of Amba Abram's kindness and generosity. Guys, have you heard of Anba Abram? He helps anyone who asks for money. Let's tell him a lie. Say we need money for a friend's funeral and then we can share it. <laughs> Great idea, but what's the story for our friend's funeral? We'll say our friend passed away and we need money for his burial. Two of us will go and you stay here. Agreed. Come in, my dear children. Are you okay? Do you need help? Yes, Anbra Abram. Our friend has passed away and we need money for his burial. May God rest his soul in peace. Take the money you need. Thank you. We have to go now. Oh no, our friend isn't waking up. He's really dead. Oh Lord, forgive us. We lied to a good person and now we are being punished. We need to go back to Anbar Bram and ask him to forgive us. My dear children, why are you back? Why didn't you bury your friend? We lied to you to get money. Our friend was alive, but when we returned, we found him dead. We've come to return the money and ask for your forgiveness. Please, Please forgive, forgive us. us. May God forgive you. 
Keep the money to bury your friend. Go in peace. Anba Abram was so forgiving and generous, even to those who weren't honest with him. I'm sure that everyone loved him. Yes, Lavinia, everyone loved him. He never turned away anyone in need. We should learn from his example and always remember the words of Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Yes, Mum, I will always be keen on giving more than receiving. Dad, can I see his icon? Of course, Lavinia. Here it is, Saint Anba Abram's icon. It's just him holding a cross, showing how simple and kind he was. Mum, let's gather these clothes and give them to the church tomorrow, just like Anba Abram would have done. Yes, Lavinia, this is the right thing to do. Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me.